Welcome to the channel and today we're going to go over the basics of what you need to know to start animating in Adobe Animate CC. And first things first, I was complaining about the layout of Adobe Animate, but if you go to Window, Workspace, and then hit Classic, this is exactly how the old Flash used to work if you are familiar with that. So, today let's talk about the basics of what you need to get started. Is right here on your timeline. You go to layer and you go to, let's see, insert frame. That extends it, but you can also go to keyframes, which is what we're about to talk about. So, your keyframe is blank, right? Um, but what is a keyframe? Look at this. This is a very good uh, thing. This is just off of a Google web search. But this is basically what a keyframe is. This is your time. So this is your first frame. His finger is up. This is your sixth frame. His finger is down and pointing. And then you have these frames in the middle. And these will be your in-between frames of how you get from point one to point six. So these are your keyframes, which are usually your big expressive movements. Um, your regular frames will be how this all breaks down. So you'll have a finger right here uh, to slow into this. You'll have fingers right here. And then bam, this is your sixth frame. So that's a good example of keyframes and so if you want to extend out your keyframes you hit insert frame and let's say in this keyframe you want it to be a little bit right here so now you've got it moving that way you extend out your keyframe or extend out your frame like so. And I'm just right clicking by the way. That's it. So boom, 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 boom. All right, so let's talk about your timeline. Your timeline is where you're going to decide how things go. Um, timing is very important, which I, I'm gonna make a complete video just about the timing of animation from how I understand it. Let's just do a simple example. So I draw a ball right up here, right? And then let's say by frame 20, insert keyframe. Let's say by frame 20, I want the ball to be down here. Okay, now I didn't draw any in between, so that's going to look a little weird. But your timeline is how you can create your pacing for your animations. So let's say here, insert keyframe, I'm going to copy this. And then here, I'm just going to move it up, and then insert keyframe. I'm actually like working backwards, which I don't really advise, but some people do. And uh, let's see, where was it? Move this like that, and then let's get rid of some of these actually. Insert <coughs> or remove frames. So already I have boom, 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 and it just stops, right? I'm not trying to really like do anything crazy, I'm just trying to get you to understand why a timeline is important because you need pacing 
um, for your animations. Let's see. Pull back up Google. Google search. Okay, I like this. Okay, so this is very interesting. Um, it looks like this would be their first keyframe. Then they're building anticipation and then they're jumping here. Now, without a timeline, you can basically express how long you want for things to take. So do you want these action, you want, you probably want this action to be slow right here because he's slowly sinking down and then you want this, see the drastic difference, you want this to be quick because this is a quick movement, him jumping over here and taking action and then maybe a slow in and then a quick because I guess this kid is going to keep jumping. So that's what your timeline is all about, keeping track of how long it takes for things to get to where they're going. So one, two, three, midair jump, fall, six recovery. He doesn't have this uh, numbered this way, I'm assuming, because of uh, these are not like this is not first keyframe. This might be, but this doesn't necessarily mean it's the second keyframe. Um, but yeah, you can show the timing on the timeline. So I'll get rid of that. Something else you need to know about um, your tools. You have a brush tool, um, which I use. A lot of people don't like the brush tool uh, because it does this weird stuff right here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Fit to window. It does these weird janky lines. I shouldn't really say janky, but it does these weird lines. So a lot of people don't like that. Then you have regular, or what is this? Paintbrush. Huh, this isn't too bad. It's like a little lag. I've never seen this before. Yeah, that's not too bad. It looks like that might be useful if you want to keep some steady lines because your lines are going to matter later on. Um, I know that there's some people who use a pencil, which keeps that same steady line. So that might be beneficial. Oh, look, a circle. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to draw one. So that's useful. You need to know about onion skinning. It's very important to me, I would say, because it gives you a little bit of an advantage. So what onion skinning is, is you draw this first circle, right? And onion skinning is right here. You can onion skin just outlines as well, but let's just work with basic onion skinning. And up here, you adjust these bars. So now, I put this on the second one. And I can see where my old one is. And I can also see where my next one is. So blue is what's behind me. Green is what's in front of me. And I can decide that for these frames, I want this one to go there. And so now if I move it over again, I've got too big of an onion screen. Sometimes I like to see just what's behind me if I'm doing straight ahead animation. But sometimes it's nice to see where you're going to. But if that gets too confusing, just shrink it down. Shrink it down. Um, but yeah, so look. So that's onion skinning, which I think is a good tool, especially if you're just starting out beginning, like myself. It's a good tool to have. Now, another thing you need to know is test movie. This is in browser. Control enter. 
it's just gonna pop up so this is the animation it's not really doing anything it looks crazy sorry about all that white but so this is just a basic video to get you started with how to animate something my next video is going to be going over the 12 principles of animation um, in detail so I'll take it one video at a time one animation at a time if you learn like I do you want to see like step by step not just gradual oh here's this amazing animation that I did and here's kind of how I got there I like to know step by step because that's just the way I learn so continue watching I'm going to speed up this next portion I'll probably do a ball bounce and I'm going to show what that looks like when I'm properly using the timeline and properly using the keyframes and things like that so you can see it beginning to end without all the workarounds.
So that's the video guys. Um, hopefully you learned some quick basics of what you need to know to get started. Um, thank you for joining me and hopefully you'll tune in soon. Let me know what else you're looking to learn from this channel uh, when it concerns the basics. Is there something on the Adobe dashboard that you're not quite sure what it is and you want to know how to use it? Uh, just leave that down in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. Mm. Next week we're going to start looking at the 12 principles of animation. We're going to go into detail about each principle and we're going to work our way up to the basic fundamentals of how to animate. Stay tuned and check me out next week.